Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be showing you my May slash June favorites. I am super excited. I did film a video for May, but I never posted it because the, it just wasn't my favorite video and I just ended up not posting it. So um, I haven't done a favorites video for May or June. I cannot believe it's already July. I hope you're having a great summer so far. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go over things that I enjoyed these last two months. I have makeup, uh, vintage items. I have a record. Um, well, not so much a record, but an album, a show, a book. I have a coffee favorite. I have lots of stuff. So let's just get right into it. Well, actually, before we get into it, I wanted to mention what is on my eyes and lip. I have the Anastasia Norvina palette, the, um, honestly just this color here and the tempura, or the base, not tempura, and then So Jaded, these are throwback palettes uh, that were in my shop, my stash for June. I'm wearing Fluorite, Royal Jewels, or no, sorry, Fluorite, Rose Quartz, and a little bit of Pearl. So I just did like a purpley brown look with these two palettes. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Oh Snap, I think, yep. If you were wondering, <laughs> so let's just get right into it. So I will start with, I think I'll start with makeup favorites. I have a few different things here in front of me. First, I'll start, I'm not wearing this today, but it's been a favorite, the Fenty Beauty uh, Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I've really been enjoying this. I'm wearing a different foundation today or a different CC cream today just because I wanted more SPF. This doesn't have SPF. If this had SPF, this would be perfect summer type of product, but it's just really nice. I wear the shade three. I'll show you a little bit on the back of my hand. But it's just so nice and natural, yet it still does give some coverage. It's like the perfect shade for me also. And I've been fairly lighter than normal, I feel like. I'm just very pale. Um, over these last two years, I just feel like I've gotten like paler. I don't know, but this is a really perfect shade for me. And it's just so nice and um, lightweight on the skin. You can see my freckles with this, but you... Um, it still kind of covers up any unevenness, any redness. So yeah, I've been really enjoying this. A lot of people told me um, how amazing this was and I kind of slept on it. I'm sorry I did because I really enjoy it now. So this has been a favorite foundation for me. And then I have this eyeshadow palette. I talked about it in a few other videos, but this is the Natasha Denona Pastel palette. and love the packaging here and this was mostly may i haven't really been reaching for this too much in june um but so pretty i love these pastel this was really great for spring but i think it'll still be fun for summer it's just this perfect like fun colorful pastel dream of a palette and yeah i've been really enjoying the pink and purple tones in here i want to branch out and do some more interesting looks but for now i've just been really i have been enjoying this um and i do think you do have to build up the colors a little bit but i feel like that's standard with pastels so yeah some people didn't love it as much as her other palettes but i think it's really good and i just love the variety here i feel like it gets me creative excited for spring summer so yeah then um, I was visiting family recently. That is a huge favorite. I went camping with my my one side of the family. It's so much fun and I was with friends and family so that is the biggest favorite of this month but I wanted to mention something I wore a lot while I was um, while I was away. I was kind of using a lot of more um, kind of quick and easy products and this was one of them the brilliant eye brainer from thrive cosmetics and this is in Terra. it is a rose mauve shimmer shade and here is a swatch of it it's just very um like you know not too crazy bold in your face but 
kind of like this subtle gorgeous rose shimmer and I actually loved pairing this with one of the clothing items I'm going to talk about later but I just thought it was a pretty combo but I feel like this goes with anything because I love I love pinky type of colors for my eyes and so I feel like this goes with anything and it lasts all day super easy to just glide on and it'll go with my pink outfits it'll go with you know even different color outfits it still kind of goes I don't know so I've been enjoying this a lot or I did enjoy that um and another Thrive Cosmetics product is their new lip tints. These are the Sheer Strength Hydrating Lip Tints, and they are so amazing. This one is just a clear shade, but I would say the shade Melissa has been my favorite. Let me see which one. Melissa has been my favorite. I will show you it on top of this lip liner. This lip liner is pretty natural looking anyways, but here is Melissa, and they're just so nice and like hydrating and just give you a little bit of tint it's nothing crazy i was wearing this in my last haul video but they're just so nice they give you a bit of color like you can even tell it gave me more color than i had and the smell oh my gosh i'm gonna get lipstick on me <laughs> the smell is so good and I don't know how to explain it. It's like almost like a nice waxy type of consistency, but I really enjoy it. It's just moisturizing and the color is really nice. I feel like this is perfect for looks like this where I have a full face of makeup on and it's also perfect for days that I don't have much makeup on and I just need a little bit of something. Um, mascara, this, and I'm like out the door. So <laughs> loving this. I'll swatch it for you as well if you want to see it swatched out it just gives you that hint of color you can kind of build it up or you could pair it with a lip liner to give you even more color loving this and then another thing i wanted to mention is this vintage lipstick holder that holds these lip tints perfectly i will take them out so i can show them to you show this to you i did talk about this in a recent the recent haul video but I got this at an estate sale and it's a vintage lipstick holder. I'm not sure what year it's from. I'm not even sure the brand, but um, it doesn't fit traditional some of my traditional lipsticks, but it does fit these lip tints. And I love like the little legs on it, like how cute. It's just so elegant. There is a little mark right here, but other than that, it's pretty in pretty good shape. And yeah, so I've been loving these lip tints, but I've been loving storing them in these, this cute little lipstick holder. So that is another favorite. <laughs> and um, yeah, now I have some face, more face products, the e.l.f. Putty Blush. So a few months ago, probably a year ago, I talked about the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Still love that, used that today actually. Um, but I also used this putty blush and it's in Turks and Caicos. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, but I'm wearing a powder blush on top of this as well. But this is my cream uh, blush today and it's just such a pretty matte shade and I've just been really enjoying it. So I wanted to mention it and um, I'll like swatch it here. It just is nice. It looks kind of bright, but it definitely blends out to be more user friendly. And I think it's such a pretty color for summer. So I wanted to shout it out. I did hear they recently came out with uh, luminous blushes, which I'm luminous putty blushes. So I want to try those out as well. But so far I've been enjoying this putty blush and it's really affordable. And then lastly for makeup, I think, um, is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And I just threw this in an Ulta order recently, um, same as this order, you know, a month or two ago. And I've been really enjoying this. This is in the shade 10 Be My Highlight. I am wearing this today. And on camera, it might look a little more bling, you know, bam, in your face. But it's such a natural highlight. I feel like it gives you a really beautiful shimmery sheen but um it's nothing too over the top so you can hardly like see it swatched out it's right there but it's just so nice and natural and i feel like i used to really enjoy more like i don't know more pigmented more blingy the word blingy is coming to mind more um just like 
shimmery, sparkly, like bam in your face highlights. And this, I feel like I'm kind of shifting to more natural looking highlights. And I think this is a great way to go. I know this was popular back in the day, um, years ago, but I never tried it until now. And I think it's just a really nice effect to the skin. And I'll wear it on the top of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow above my lips. And yeah, wanted to shout it out. It's a good affordable product as well next we'll get into let's see what we should get into next i have some vintage product i know i mentioned the vintage lipstick holder i also wanted to mention my very first vintage nail polish that i ever got i got this on etsy it is the qtex pink pearl little nail polish here at the back so so cute i love the color of the like you can actually see the pink color I love the little pearl necklace and it's just gorgeous and I really enjoy this product. I think it's um, just cute and I'm excited that I expanded my vintage collection a little bit to nail polishes. I wonder what more I, nail polishes I could find. I think there's probably some really cute vintage ones out there so I wanted to shout this out. And then another favorite is this little lamp perfume bottle vintage perfume bottle so it's shaped as a little lamp and it used to have a little string here um or it's supposed to but you can just pull it down and see the vintage little perfume bottles in there and i think it's just so innovative it's so cute in a little lamp i feel like and it's like sturdy and <laughs> made out of good material but yeah i thought that was super cute definitely a favorite i found this in may in nashville when i was there for my birthday so that's a little birthday gift that randy my boyfriend got me and then so that's a favorite and then lastly i think for vintage items oh no no there's more there's a little bit more this is the vintage uh, from the 50s i don't think i mentioned this is also from the 50s i believe that one um, oh, and this is from 1939. I'm trying to remember the dates. This is a um, carry-all compact, and it is from the 50s. It is Mother of Pearl, so both sides have this gorgeous detailing. And a carry-all compact is basically um, where you have multiple things. So you have your powder. Your powder is right here under this little latch. You have your comb and your lipstick and this one also has like a little money slash cigarette compartment in the back and so you kind of have everything you need and this one has the original lipstick the original comb and some powder left into it and yeah that's kind of rare to find so this is something i really cherish in my collection i think i'm i've always wanted a mother of pearl um compact and I've always wanted a carry-all compact so I think this is just amazing and I'm so excited to have this piece in my collection so I wanted to mention that I got this maybe in April I think or May early May type of time um yeah and then lastly I wanted to mention this um little red and gold lipstick it doesn't have any product in it I got it for a dollar at an antique store but what I wanted to mention is why it's a favorite is because I, for the life of me, couldn't find what brand this was for a while just because it has no markings. And when I type in gold and red lipstick, you know, lots of things come up and not everything is helpful. And so it was just hard to pinpoint it. And then I was going through articles about Qtex looking for this perfume. I'm not perfume. This nail polish and I stumbled upon this lipstick from the 50s I think it was 1958 the designer cases from lipstick cases from Qtex so I identified this as from around the 50s late 50s and it's a Qtex lipstick so I was just excited to identify it. I love when I have a mystery item and I identify it it's just fun and exciting for me so yeah this is definitely a favorite just because i recently identified it and next we will get into just something random i've been enjoying painting like random things and so this is something i painted this is from the dollar tree it's like a crown it was wooden and i painted it pink 
and I put little gems on it and I keep, I actually keep my vintage lipsticks <laughs> in here, some of my vintage lipsticks and so that is a favorite. I just think it's so cute, this little crown um, wooden little thing and then <laughs> what I've been enjoying is this acrylic paint from Target. It's really cheap and I feel like it works really well. This one is Mondo Llama, well all of them that I got are Mondo Llama the brand but this one is sugary cereal and that's just the one I used I believe for that one um, but yeah there's so many different colors and I've been enjoying painting different things so if you want to see more of like the crafty things that I like to do I can feature more but basically this was super simple to paint and then put on little gems and I think it's cute I keep it in my closet with some of my other like things in there but um, on display, but I think it's cute and fun and just kind of relaxing to me. So enjoy that. This is random, but this is a native deodorant in fresh pink cupcake. I absolutely love um, the smell of this and I thought I wanted to to share it just because I think it's really hard to find alum aluminum free deodorant that work and you know, I feel like everybody that a lot of people that I know kind of are looking for that perfect aluminum free you know paraben free deodorant and I think Native is a great brand and I recently tried this fresh peach cupcake deodorant and I think it just makes deodorant fun and girly so I <laughs> wanted to mention that um let's see what else do we have I mentioned all the vintage stuff I'll get into some random so I have a book favorite this is the color theory for the makeup artist uh, understanding color and light for beauty and special effects book and it's like a little textbook here super interesting it kind of tells you how to mix colors how to know different undertones so much amazing details are in here and I recently read the whole book and I really am fascinated with color theory I think it's more important than you realize in makeup and um, it tells you a little bit about the history um, so much about color theory so yeah I really enjoy enjoyed this I think it was helpful and um, maybe not as fun of a read as some of my other makeup books but more like technical and and good good to read so yeah then I have this oh my gosh this blanket from Lily she got me this as almost actually a Christmas gift but we just saw each other recently and uh, she gave it to me but it's this gorgeous pink uh, blanket from Target and it has these little puffs on the bottom on each end and I've just been enjoying it while I'm working I kind of will have it on my legs and I just think it's so cute and thoughtful so I wanted to mention this blanket has been a favorite some clothing favorites I have two rompers from I love rompers I'm wearing a romper today um two rompers from American Eagle that I really have been enjoying. So this one is super cozy and just normal. They're both medium, just like a kind of simple romper. It's white and like this tannish color and it's just so comfy, but really cute. Um, I wore it camping with my family. I wore this one camping as well. This is also a medium. I just was afraid. I didn't want to get it too small or too tight because I wanted them more as like comfy cute rompers <laughs> and so this one is this gorgeous and this is the one that I wore Tara the brilliant eye brightener with this color I just thought it was so pretty the rose eyes with the green romper but yeah it's a super pretty like unique type of green you have lace at the top it kind of like crisscrosses in the back and then here is the bottom and I think these were not too expensive on AmericanEagle.com I got them online but wanted to shout those out. Those are some clothing favorites. Coffee favorite. I have this Shabani uh, cold brew with vanilla creamer. I just wanted to mention it. It's just a really nice. Um, I've been liking iced coffee now. Now that it's warmer. I don't really drink warm coffee in the summer. So I've been liking this. And it's a pretty, pretty big size. And I feel like it lasts me a few um, probably like four days or something. Maybe <laughs> I'm trying to think maybe four or five days. But yeah, enjoy that. And then, um, let me see. I'm just making sure I'm not forgetting anything. Music has been Harry's House, Harry Styles' new album. I haven't opened this yet. This was a gift from Brie, uh, my brother's girlfriend, and my brother. 
and I am so excited to listen to this on vinyl, but I have been listening to it on my phone a ton. I love grape juice, music for a sushi restaurant, keep driving. I love like this whole album basically. And so I wanted to show you the album, but really I haven't really been, I haven't listened to it on vinyl yet. I can't wait to, but it's the album itself. That's definitely a favorite. And then lastly is a show favorite and that is Stranger Things. The first uh, part of season four came out last month and me and my boyfriend watched it right away, enjoyed it. And then just last night or yesterday, the um, second part came out and oh my gosh, it was so crazy. So yeah, I think that show is definitely was definitely my favorite of the month, I think, or the last two months. I think it was just really well done and interesting and different and you really like feel for the characters. You get attached to the characters. So that is uh, my show favorite for the last two months. Um, I think I covered everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, definitely stay tuned for more videos to come but i hope you have a great rest of your day i hope you had a great last may and june and here's to july i'm excited for the rest of the summer but yeah have a great rest of your day bye